I remember walking into a church uh, right after one of my good friends died. He was serving in the military and lost his life in Afghanistan. And I went to church with his now widow and they were singing, I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And I remember I just couldn't sing the words. And the next song was a happy song, and the next song was a happy song, and the next song was a happy song. And it was one of the first times that I found myself to feel really out of place in the church. What's interesting, when you read the Bible, you see songs of lament in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. David commanded the army of men to lament after Saul died, and even Jesus himself wept when a friend of his died. And so I want to ask the question to you today, are you lamenting? Is there space in your Christian walk for this word lament? Did you know that all three members of the Trinity express emotion and show grief? It is in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Father grieves in both Genesis and the book of Psalms. Jesus weeps in John 11:35, and even the Holy Spirit can be grieved. Did you know that even creation groans in Romans 8.22? So if all three members of the Trinity grieve, what makes me think I will go through this life without grief and with no need for lament? We are told by Jesus in John 16 that in this world we will have trouble. And what I want to tell you is that God has given you a language to relate to him in the midst of it. This language is titled lament. It is a cry of your heart. It's an expression of grief, but it's some language that God meets us in. He doesn't turn you away. So I leave you with this verse. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. It's Psalm 77 verses one and two. When we are in distress, not if, God has given us a language of lament and we can cry out to him. We don't have to only sing the happy songs. We can sing the book of Psalms. We can sing lament and God hears our cry and meets us.